During his idle time traveling up and down his line, Hill, not wishing to waste a single moment, pored over all varieties of literature, geologic surveys, and agricultural reports. His private car on the railroad, which, by the way, was very Spartan, except for one thing, and that is it was loaded with books. He would read Emerson, Webster, and Thoreau for insight into human nature. He must have had a photographic mind. The way he would go over the surveys, the detail that he inhaled, I mean, he knew his stuff. On a train ride once to the coast with two other associates, a quote was delivered from the Bible, and then Hill paused and offered the next sentence, almost verbatim. And he did this not just on one occasion, not just on two occasions, but three separate occasions in that conversation. So the photographic memory was driven by a deeper desire to have a command and mastery of knowledge. And this applied not just to his recreational reading, but to every aspect of his business life. <laughs> 